Hello and welcome back to this new episode. So in the previous episode, I made some mistakes, typo mistakes actually, because here it was wrongly typed name template. And also I forgot to define the variable template right there. And that's it. Okay, so in today's video or today's episode, we will try to display the content of our component or command uh, command uh, product.tpl inside uh, somewhere here in the product pages. And to do that, there is two approaches actually. So the approach number one is the classic hook API like in 1.6 by defining a public function, public okay, like public function, public function, and we could call it um, hook um, display, for example, display uh, header or footer or whatever, and assign the template, the variables, do the logic, and all that kind of stuff. But also the good approach and the good news that PrestaShop 1.7 came with the widget API, which is really amazing and pretty much like it more than the classic um, hook API. So we will be using this hook API and to do that, we will starting first by implementing an API interface, which is the widget interface. So we start by implementing the widget interface and make sure that is loaded from the PrestaShop, PrestaShop core modules, right? And after that, we need to implement the methods of this API. So by typing control space or control enter, we could have added these methods. So the first one is render the widget and the second one is get widget variables. So the render the widget is responsible of rendering the template and doing logic, etc. And if the get variables is like a complement for this render widget, right? We could do nothing here and our code will still work properly, but this get variables is as the name match it will assign variables to the template that is rendered by the render widget okay so let's go ahead and start by doing things very simply so i do return dollar this scope and i will do fetch so this fetch method will look for a template and also it can, it can accept the cache id in case you would like to use the case the cache sorry and it, uh, we will explain this later further in this course. Okay, so you start by defining the dollar this, oh, sorry, I have to uh, dollar this and template file. Okay, so the template file, the system will look under this uh, folder or something that uh, he could load the content of this file. Okay, so now the good things that my plugin is available for almost every hook possible into my website, right? This is the difference between the old API, the hook API and the widget API. So with the widget API, allow us to hook our plugin anywhere we want on the website. Okay, so let's go ahead under design, position and hit transplant a module. And from there, we will select where we would like to display the content of our module, where we would like to hook it to be more exact. Okay, so it's a bit slow because I'm in a Windows. And there you go. So right here, we have selected drop down. You could type command. There you go. And it will also load, as you may see here, it's loading stuff. And it will display me all the possible uh, transplant to uh, like kind of um, list or hooks and there you go so I'm, I'll be looking for a pro display product something that can display uh, the information that we can get from that plugin and I'll go um, for display product extra content this week expect product extra content which will probably display the template of the page uh, the sweep launch module when the product list is displayed from the front of this this uh okay so there is plenty of information uh honestly i don't know where to display it but let's pick it for example the extra content okay oops where i did finish and we should have our message displayed somewhere right here also good things and don't forget to do it is to force to change the option to play compilation to force compilation right here. Else why you won't see anything if you are working in your template. And you could access this page from the advanced parameters performance and you could do the stuff right here. So it's done translating. Now if I refresh the page, 
what will happen i will have hello from component module blah 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 and it displayed twice because the scanner hook it's like displayed twice anyway in the page now i would like to use this get variable so get variable said that we could define any variables imagine that we will be getting data from the database like a command of users and display them to that specific product so i will do a simple test so i'll do array return an array so it does return always always an array and this one we call it like uh, uh hello or message whatever message all right and we could define it to be an object to be a string to be a character whatever so hello this product is great all right and don't forget the semicolon now right here we need to tell prestashop core to inject or to assign this content into the render widget and to do that we simply have to do the following so we do dollar this smarty assign this is the method that we are really looking for and we are simply calling the signature of the get variable we are defining the hook name here and we are defining the configuration object right here and now we could move back to the command here and we could do brackets dollar name whatever we did call it message right now if i move back to the browser and refresh it look what happened hello this product is great so we did successfully display the content from our module into the product page so we are on the good path on the right path to display content the next thing is to create a form that allow the user to type a message and vote or like command this product and give his opinion about it 